3년 전 관광 비자부터 완전히 막고 여전히 풀고 있지 않은 중국이 한국과 일본의 중국발 자국행에 입국 전후 코로나 검사 의무화와 단기 비자 발급 일시 중단 조치를 취한 것에 대해 보복을 바로 취했죠. 자, 머리를 식히고 냉정한 가슴으로 중국을 들여다봅시다. 지리의 힘의 저자 팀 마셜의 주장에 저는 힌트를 얻었는데요. 중국은 엄밀히 말해 해양 통로가 확실치 않습니다. 다시 말하자면 해양 세력이 침입해 왔을 때 이를 전적으로 막을 수 있는 해양 패권이 아직은 약하거나 부재하다는 것이죠. 중국이 필리핀과 일본 등과 갈등을 벌이는 해양 분쟁의 이유가 이것입니다. 그래서 이번과 같은 한국, 일본의 방역 조치, 즉 항공 통로의 검열을 강화하는 것에도 민감하게 반응합니다. 한국과 일본은 중국 입장에서는 해양을 가로막는 문제이기 때문이죠. 한국의 현재 지리적 상황은 어떤지 한번 팀 마셜의 이야기를 들어볼까요? I mean, Manchuria invaded it. Fuck a little Manchuria up here. And uh, the Mongols used to sweep down into China, so they built a wall. But that's exactly why they pushed out uh, and they took Manchuria. Uh, sorry, the other side. They took Manchuria. Um, they, they took Tibet. They took uh, Xinjiang, uh, where the Uyghurs lived. Uh, uh, and they built a buffer zone. It's a buffer zone. which protected the core of China, which is the Han Chinese. And then they had this amazing shock in the 1800s when the British and others arrived by sea and came up the rivers and basically took over half the country. And they were absolutely shocked by this. They, you know, they call it a century of humiliation. And that is why when you look at the defense posture now, It's all about building the navy to come out into what is called the blue water world, but also to build the shorter ship missile systems. They're putting a lot of money into shorter ship missiles. Yes, and, and um, I think they've done it very successfully. And it's important to look at it from China's point of view. So look out at the world from China and what is in front of it? Partially you, a wall. They see a wall in front of them. And this wall is made up of Japan and its islands, South Korea, partially, and you have some islands, uh, Taiwan, Philippines, etc., etc. What does China think about this? China knows in an emergency, these people can build this wall and block them. So this is an existential threat to China. And that's why, so first you build an island, leave it alone. Come back a couple of years later and build a runway, leave it alone. Come back a year later and put some weapons on it. Because each time, you think, well, it's, it's only an island. Well, it's only a runway. And then, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> they have a military base there now. They're doing it very, very well. Because they are very, very good at playing the long game. China and the US have started the war. The US has been very 마셜은 어려운 상황에 놓인 한국에게 과연 어떤 해답을 할까요? Well, yeah, and between these two superpowers is is a country um, <laughs> called well a peninsula called Korea. It's why it's a hinge uh, in in the relationship. You know that the outside world has this phrase about that you are a shrimp between two whales. It's not true anymore. It was true in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. You're not a shrimp. You're a... a, a dolphin. <laughs> you're quite big. And, you, and dolphins are very good at moving around, and that's what you're doing now. I, I do argue it will be a form of Cold War, but with the caveat that, uh, you know, we, we, we can't describe it because it's the future. Rough competition is, is inevitable between them. But I don't think war is. It's just got to be managed. But it, it will play out right across uh, the, the, this century. It's also why you're in, I believe, such a crucial position. Um, 
you I mean you're in a difficult position, but you're also you're also in a position to actually look at, at both the sides. I mean, you you know who Biden invited to the White House? The first two foreign leaders he invited within a few weeks of taking office: President Moon Jae-in, Jae-in, and uh, Prime Minister Sugo. Why? Because this is where the action is. For as long as they are both very, very powerful. Um, so, uh, well, it could be longer, but let's give it a century, shall we? 100 years of the Korean War. We are also really proud of it. This is why Korea has been focused on the relationship between the U.S. and 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 the U.S. 100년 동안 미중 패권 갈등이 있을 것으로 예상된다면 과연 한국은 해양 대륙 세력 사이에 어떤 입장을 취해야 할까요? 조금 많이 건너뛰었지만 저는 궁극적으로 통일이 그래서 필요하다고 생각합니다. 동북아 균형자가 되기 위해서는 이상만 존재해서는 안 됩니다. 현실적인 힘이 있어야죠. 우리가 한반도로서 지리적으로 우위에 설수 없다는 편견을 깨고 대륙과 해양을 연결하는 중간자의 위치를 확고히 다지기 위해선 우리 땅의 견고함이 중요합니다. 한국은 세계 6위의 국방력과 세계 7위의 경제력을 갖춘 국가입니다. 수출 다변화도 보다 가속화해야 합니다. 한 바구니에 모든 것을 쏟아붓지 않은 현명함이 지금 그 어느 때보다 필요합니다. 자, 이번에는 팀 마셜의 내용 중 중요 표현을 배워 보겠습니다. 첫 번째. They built a buffer zone. 그들은 완충 지대를 만들었다. They built a buffer zone. 그들은 완충 지대를 만들었다. 두 번째. Sure to ship missile. 지대함 미사일. Sure to ship missile. 지대함 미사일. 세 번째, what does China think about it, this? 다시, what does China think about this? 하, 중국은 이에 대해 어떻게 생각할까요? What does China think about this? 네 번째, come back a couple of years later. Come back a couple of years later. 몇년 후에 다시 돌아오다. 다섯 번째, Competition is inevitable. Competition is inevitable. 경쟁은 피할 수 없습니다. Competition is inevitable. Competition is inevitable. Competition is inevitable. 경쟁은 피할 수 없습니다. 여섯 번째. Korea is in a crucial position. 한국은 중요한 위치에 있습니다. Korea is in a crucial position. 한국은 중요한 위치에 있습니다. Take office, 취임하다. Take office, 취임하다. 마지막으로, Let's give it a century, shall we? Let's give it a century, shall we? 한 100년 정도라고 할까요? 